The modern steering wheel allows a racing driver to control the car in more ways than one. Following on from our earlier story, we join McLaren Racing's Rob Irwin for an in-depth look at how it's evolved. My name is uh, Rob Irwin. I work for McLaren Racing and I'm an electronic engineer. I design the steering wheel electronics and various instrumentation around the car. You join me here in the electronic harness manufacturer area and here we have a collection of steering wheels showing the evolution. From 1974 we have Emerson Fittipaldi's steering wheel which is uh, just a flat piece of aluminium attached to the wheel. No switches or wiring. We move on to 1988 Ayrton Senna wheel from the MP44, most successful Formula One car in our history. Had a, a boost button and a radio button for communication with the pits. This one is a 1988 uh, championship winning MP413 Mika Hakkinen steering wheel. Gear sticks no longer used, semi-automatic gearbox, upshift, downshift, clutch paddle also on the uh, on the steering wheel. Neutral, there's a map select, there's a few other functions here with a radio and a pit lane speed limiter. The actual harness is attached to the back. It's a, it's a flat stock bit of carbon which differs from the, the metal of previous years. And that, that won a world championship, that wheel. We now move on to today's wheel. It's a uh, quite different. It's, uh, it's got thickness. It's now a box effectively instead of the flat stock of the original of the Hakkinen wheel. Um, similar switches on the back, clutch paddles, upshift and downshift. Um, lots of rotary switches on this wheel that change settings for this one's for wet, wet running, this one's engine map. There's some diff settings. There's also some diff settings on the thumb wheel are quite handy for the driver. Driver's thumb, he doesn't have to move his hand off the wheel um, and the wing. And there's a multi-function switch that can be accessed using these two buttons that will give you a hundred different options. So it's a, a very complicated wheel. The steering wheels reflect the evolution of, of the car, showing how complex it has got over the years from something that didn't have any switches on it to something that now has quite a lot of switches on it, um, reflecting the amount of electronics on a racing car. What we have here is this year's steering wheel opened up. We have a front panel which contains the single ECU electronics which is supplied by our sister company McLaren Electronic Systems. Um, every team has to run that, it's part of the single ECU package. Everything else you see around there is parts that we've added. In the wheel we add 400 electronic components and there's about 200 mechanical components as well. Um, the front of the wheel has rotary switches, push button switches. To connect the front panel to the rear we use ribbon cables. There's 50 connections coming down these wires that connect to the rear housing of the wheel which contains some interface PCBs, the upshift and downshift switches a couple of thumb wheel switches and the dashboard. The dashboard again is part of the single ECU system. The design and manufacture process probably involves around 20 people and maybe as much as 150 man hours to, to build it up. 